Hey guys, Jeremy here from Massey Motors, the Hyundai brand director. I'm very excited to introduce to you guys today the fully electric version of the Hyundai Ioniq. You've seen tons of the Hyundai Ioniq on the road, the hybrid models, they've been running, they've been very successful for us. And now we're introducing the fully electric version, which I've been getting a ton of inquiries about. So I want to take you on a walk around of the car and introduce to you some of the key features and some of the things to expect when you see this car on the road. The first thing that you're going to notice when, this, when you see this vehicle on the road is the solid front grille or the solid front paneling where you're accustomed to seeing a traditional grille. Why it's solid is because this vehicle being fully electric is powered by an electric motor. So there is absolutely no need for combustion in the engine. That means no oil, no filter, no timing chain, no lifters, no head. The other reason for this is that when you have a solid piece, there's less turbulence as you're driving and that gives you a great coefficient of drag, great aerodynamic performance in this vehicle on the highway, so you're gonna burn even less energy as you go through. And the energy is, of course, DC power. For those of you who don't know an electric vehicle, it runs on DC power. So this is gonna look like the traditional engine stack or the engine area that you guys are familiar with. But of course, the components that are located here are very different from what you're accustomed to. So at the top, you have the electric control unit under that, you have the onboard charger, which does the conversion of the AC power that you're gonna be familiar with plugging into the car, into DC, which the car uses in its high voltage battery. Underneath that, you have the permanent synchronous magnet motor. It's an 88 kilowatt motor, quite powerful. And, and, and attached to that, you have a one reduction gear unit. So this car has one gear. It does not have a gearbox that we are traditionally accustomed to. The hybrid, for example, would have um, a dual clutch transmission. That's not on this car. This car is a reduction gear. Let's take a trip inside the car. So guys, the first thing that you're gonna notice when you sit in this car, for those of you that are familiar with the Ionic, the layout is of course the exact same. The car is the same, but there's an absence of a gear shifter. And as I explained before, there's no gear box. There are no gears to shift on this car. It's P, R, N, and D. There are four buttons and that's it as far as moving the car. On the side of the steering wheel, you're gonna see paddle shifters. And again, they're not to control gears on any gearbox. The paddle shifters are actually used to adjust the force of regenerative braking. So those of you who drive a hybrid right now, you'll be familiar with that concept that when you step on the brakes, you actually, are, you, what you're doing is using the forward momentum of the car, basically changing the direction and charging the battery back, but in the process, slowing the car down. That concept still applies, of course, to an electric car with the braking, but you have the option of actually adjusting via these paddle shifters how aggressive you want that regenerative force to be. So what that means is that when you're driving, if you see traffic up ahead or a situation where you need to slow down, you can actually increase the regenerative force on the car, which will slow it down while recharging the battery, and that will prevent you having to constantly engage the hydraulic brakes, which, of course, the car is equipped with. Um, and that's a huge potential savings and an improvement in driving pattern and an improvement of range of the vehicle. Now this vehicle is slated to give you about 200 kilometers range on one charge. Um, you can get, in fact, a lot more if you, you drive with the regenerative braking intelligently.